On January 27th, one of local artist John Wilson's pieces finally found a new home in Brookline Town Hall, just a few streets over from where Wilson lived with family. Julia Wilson, the widow of John Wilson, was very pleased with the event and the effort of the town of Brookline to bring Wilson's piece to City Hall. I was emotionally involved in um, the, the fact that the town hall of Brookline wanted to purchase the uh, statue of Martin Luther King for many reasons. For um, certainly a good reason was what, what, what Martin Luther King stands for, what he died for, that my husband and I thoroughly believed in. And secondly, um, a town like Brookline I think would be very much inspired by a statue of Martin Luther King, especially future generations. Martha Richardson, who represents Wilson's estate, was pleased to see the piece brought to Brookline Town Hall. Boston and Brookline, are, they're both places that are, have not really supported public art in a grand way, such as cities like Chicago or Atlanta. And I think this is a wonderful step in the right direction to put a piece of sculpture by an important local artist in our town hall. There has been a lot of discussion around the purchase of this sculpture to not just purchase it and place it in its location, but to have educational, um, all kinds of educational things around it to continue developing it as a public monument and what it can bring to students. I don't know how that's going to work, but I do know there's a lot of talk about it. John Wilson's life was devoted to educating us about the oppression that African Americans felt, and he felt a real kinship with all peoples who were separated from society in one way or another, which is why he moved to Mexico in the 50s. He had a great affinity with the artist Orozco, who dealt with that kind of subject matter. John's whole mission was to teach us about racial equality. It was very important to him. And that's, you know, that's the legacy he's left us in his work. One, two, three, go. The sculpture was presented by three of Wilson's four grandchildren and spoken about by Murray Mack DeWart, who co-chaired the committee to commemorate John Wilson. Suffering creates endurance. Endurance creates character. Character creates hope, and hope will not fail us. I found this bronze of... Martin Luther King on the, on the, on the, uh, in the foundry on a workbench and, uh, in Chelsea, and I th knew immediately I wanted to bring it to Brookline. So I've put together a committee with my wife Mary and Rob Daves, who's an amazing, wonderful, organized, multi-talented person, and he had, so we put together a plan and we raised the money to buy the sculpture about a hundred thousand dollars so it was a lot of work um this one in brookline to me will remind us of what we still have to heal the things in our community that need to be healed and and martin luther king is a guide for getting us there Thanks to the Committee to Commemorate John Wilson, Wilson's piece has finally found its home in Brookline City Hall, where it will welcome visitors and give them the unique ability to experience the work of a local, world-renowned artist. For Brookline Interactive Group, this is Jacob Solkoff.